You might think of Asakusa as a place to come to eat traditional Japanese food, but what if I told you that there's a modern and innovative restaurant in this district where you can enjoy Michelin star food? Well, there is a place just like that called Homage, and I'm about to head to this restaurant and find out what it has to offer. This presentation is stunning. I have never seen three layers of plates underneath a bowl of soup before. Before we go, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Japan adventures. Let's go! deep in residential Asakusa, about a 15-minute walk from Asakusa Station. And I'm on my way to the French restaurant called Homage. Homage is a French word which means to show gratitude or appreciation for something or someone. So this restaurant aims to show gratitude to nature and also to the farmers and producers who grow the ingredients they use. And most of all, to show gratitude to the customers who come to the restaurant and enjoy their incredible creations. So I'm really excited to go check out this restaurant and see what kind of amazing French food they have to offer. Let's go inside. Here we are. It's beautiful. Hey, なぜ、なぜカバーが飾ってあるんですか私たち4人家族でちょうど家族。素敵。可愛い。This <笑> え、シェフのアライと申します。よろしくお願いします。お願いします。こちらのあの、オマージュというお店は、え、2000年にオープンしまして、え、今年で23年目になるお店になります。で、今日は、え、うちのスタンダードなコースの、え、だいたい10前
ているのかっていうことが見れたことがすごく大きかったと思います2018年度版のミシュランガイドの二つ星になっていますもうものすごい嬉しかったですね僕の料理はクラシカルなもともとあるフランス料理の伝統に、まあ、今の流れだったりとかそれから僕が生まれ育った浅草そういうものがこうミックスされた世界が今のオマージュの料理の世界観だというふうに考えていますすごい綺麗ありがとうございますわーではお料理が、えー、ビシストワーズになりますポロネギを、えー、グリーンの部分と白い部分とで調理を分けてはい、2種類のビシストワーズを作って仕上げたお料理になってますで真ん中は、えー、一番下から、えー、チョウザメの自家製のスモークを、えー、リエットにしたもの、はい、で真ん中に、えー、スモークをかけた、えー、ビーツでチョウザメと親子の、えー、上がキャビア一緒にこう混ぜて召し上がってみてください This presentation is stunning. I have never seen three layers of plates underneath a bowl of soup before. I love the concept of splitting the two parts of the onion to create this really unique presentation that also will probably taste very special. Vichy Soise, by the way, if you don't know, it's a potato and onion soup, and I personally love it. So I can't wait to see what they've done with the Vichy Soise soup. It's, it feels like such a shame to mix it up because it looks so beautiful, but He said to blend the flavors, so I'm mixing it together. Mmm! Phenomenal! The moment it hits your tongue, burst of flavor. Wow, that is so good. It's super creamy. It's almost a little bit cheesy, and you get these like little subtle pops of flavor from the caviar that are a little bit salty. Just a really beautiful harmony of flavors. I wouldn't say it tastes like a traditional Vichy Soise at all. Even more flavorful. Also, I love the crunch of the, the beets. Wait, are beets crunchy? I don't know. I'm not sure where I'm getting the crunch, but there's little chunks that、uh, give you a little bit of crunch. So you get this creaminess, a little bit of crunch. I love this fun, playful variety of textures. Honestly, it's really, really delicious. Very creative. これは、はい、あの静岡の駿河湾産の、えー、フレッシュな赤ザイビヨーロッパだとこうスカンピとかあとはラングスティーヌで中はぎんなんとそれから大まさりってピーナッツそれと焼き上げた赤ザイビその赤ザイビの殻から取ったソースをクリーム状にして泡立てたソースになっていますおしゃれですねす,<笑>すごい素敵、はいはいこの使っているエビって日本だと珍しいんですかこの9月ぐらいから4月ぐらいにかけてちょうど量が解禁になるエビで近くて深いところとかだと量を割と盛んにやっているエビになります。Once again, the presentation is stunning. It actually, in the light, the bubbles kind of reflect this little iridescent rainbow-y color. It is very, very pretty. It's kind of like a shrimp bubble bath is what it looks like. And I'm very excited to see what it tastes like. So let's dig in. Ooh, the moment I scoop a spoonful, I'm like, there's this waft of shrimp aroma. And it looks like there's some. Ah, this is the ginnan. For a second, it was green. I thought it was grapes. These are the ginnan or the ginkgo nuts, which are currently in season in the autumn. There it is right there. Mmm. Mmm. I'm really impressed by how creative these dishes are. I have never had a soup that has ginkgo nuts in it before.、Um, and if you've ever had a ginkgo nut, the inside is really chewy.、Um, it's really bouncy and chewy. Actually, it's almost a little bit rubbery. And it gives this very unique aroma. It's kind of like a nutty. It gives a nutty aroma to it, but the texture is not crunchy at all. It's really soft and chewy.、Uh, it's really good, and I love the almost the popping of the bubbles in your mouth.、Mm, this tiny white thing, which I, for a second I thought it was a shallot, it's the peanut that he mentioned. You just add a little bit of an extra nuttiness. It's a really creative dish. 
I would say it's like a little bit of a soupy dish as well. It's really good. であの仙台牛の貝のみ貝のみはあのヒレ肉に近いバラ肉のところのお肉で。あの名前の由来はムール貝のその貝の形に似てるからってことでついた名前になります。特徴はあのハラミに近い感じの食感と味わいのあるお肉になります。こちらもすごく豪華ですね。ありがとうございます。うわあ。で上にあの大根ですか？これはあの長芋になります。ちょうど11月から12月にかけて収穫の時期を迎えているので、その旬の長芋を生のままスライスして。えー、口をこうリセットするような感じで一緒に食べてもらいます。でこちらがマスタードですか。え、名前がですね、えっとベアルネーズソースっていうあのフランスではお肉をこう食べるときに定番の温かいマヨネーズのような感じのソースがありまして、それをムース状にしたもの、えー。はい。あとグリーンのソースはチミチュリーソースっていうの。これはあのアルゼンチンとかで牛肉のステーキでつけて食べるって言われているソースになってます。えー、こちらはあの牛肉のエッセンスをこう煮詰めて。そこに少しあのわさびのような感じの辛みのあるものを入れて仕上げたソースになっています。Wow, once again the presentation is stunning, very artistic.、Um, I love the variety of sauces that he uses here. I've actually never tried、uh, either of these sauces. Bernays, apparently it's kind of similar to a Hollandaise sauce, and the chimichurri sauce.、Uh, also, I love the way that the steak is presented with some nagaimo. And I just noticed there's something underneath it as well. If we take a little peek, wow! So there's a little bit of hidden vegetables underneath. And let's give this a try. I've added a little bit of Bernays sauce, and I'm really impressed by how thick this cut of meat is. Oh my goodness! It's seared on the on the outside. The inside looks very rare, which is how a lot of Japanese people enjoy their beef. So when in Japan, definitely give it a try. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, that takes a moment to process the variety of flavors that are happening here. First of all, the meat is so juicy. Oh my goodness.、Um, you really get these like the umami of the oils that seep out with every bite. It's so good. And what's really, really unique about it is the naga imo.、Um, what an interesting texture. You might be surprised that. Nagaimo is one of those interesting so-called potatoes. I don't think it's an actual potato. Kind of root vegetable that has this、um, kind of cooling, but also this interesting、um, gooey texture.、Um, they really, the chef really plays with these textures and this kind of like refreshing, cooling vegetable.、Um, I think there's nagaimo chopped up here. They、so、get a little bit of this crunch.、Um, While also kind of balancing out that really strong umami flavor, my goodness, this is a very unique and playful dish. I love it. What an incredible dish! Each dish I tried today was each so unique and so so delicious, and also just so playfully creative. It is so much. It's not just a delicious experience. I also find it to be a fun experience for your taste buds. So, if you guys are looking for a really, really wonderful high-end dinner experience, I think this one might be the place for you. And if you guys are interested, you can actually book this restaurant very easily on BuyFood.com. The links are down below. This is actually just three dishes of a nine-dish course, so you get lots of food. And I was told by the chef you get 20 little dishes in total in the whole course, so you really get a very, very full meal. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this feature on a very wonderful restaurant that pays homage to each of the ingredients on the plate in order to create a really masterful dish. And let me know which dish you guys want to try the most that I had today in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys very soon in another video. See you guys. Bye.